All right, I wanted to get you familiar with this PetSafe collar or uh, e collar. It's a little bit different than the um, Mini Educator. What, what you'll do first when you want to turn it on and pair it is this flashing button will be off. And then when you go, so is that, no, it's still on. Okay, so it made that noise if you heard that. So to turn it on, you'll press and hold. Nicholas. Nicholas! Shh. So, listen for the beep. It'll make a beep. And then um, it'll be on when it's uh, doing this green um, beeping. So then uh, underneath, you'll see that this, this collar is a lot smaller and a lot lighter than the mini educator. For, and it's made for small dogs, so it has very small um, connectors here. But these do need to connect with the skin in order to, for the dog to um, feel the vibration of it and the correction. Back here is this little um, place where you're going to plug it in at night to charge it. And there's also that on this one right here as well. Plug it into charge. Uh, I marked this with some fingernail polish so you would know where the up and down button is on this one. Sorry, I'm getting it too close to there. So this is going to be if you need to go <clears throat> up on it if you think the your dog is getting near something that you want to correct them for, or you're gonna go down to the working level of your dog. Say it might be just a one. When this, this is locked on up to eight, it has 15 levels, so you can go up if you feel like your dog needs it, um, but it stops on the eight right now, and this is the bar that shows how much energy is left. So if you have a good overnight charge, it should be fine. Uh, on the top here, you'll see this button is to deliver the correction, and you'll see on your other one, when that gets invoked, it's going to turn red. So it's a pretty light pressure, but we want to simulate the same pressure on, pressure off as the prong collar uh, to the e-collar. This is a static um, charge, so it's a little bit different feel than the other one, but again, it's been um, really dumb, you know, kind of diluted to make it so it's a very light correction. And like, I can't, you know, I have to turn this up to probably around a four or five to, I, mean, I barely feel that on my hand. So, um, you know, anywhere between a four to eight is going to be a good correction for the dog um, or a reminder not to urinate on something or to stop jumping up on you. Any of those things is going to be really good for. This other, but there is a button right here, but it's for, it's just for a noise. And I don't use it, um, I'm not training that in because I've already trained your dog on the prong collar first with the pressure. So for me, all I want is um, either a low um, signal correction on the lowest level that the dog can feel and then a higher correction for correction. So it should be pretty easy. Uh, it's a pretty easy device. Um, it's also good for if there's a lot of barking going on, you can go ahead and give them uh, a correction for that as well. It works really nicely for all those things that, um, that you are not liking your dog to do. Now, if you wanna call your dog to you, you're going to go ahead and put it down to the lowest level, which for the dog I'm working with right now is a one or a two. And so I will, you know, press when the, this is on the dog, 
I'll say Moochie here. I'll press it and the dog will look at me and turn and come running. When the dog gets to me, I'll say Moochie sit. I'll go ahead and press it again as I'm saying Moochie sit. And when the dog sits, uh, I will give affection reward um, or release, go, say okay, or let's go, whatever the next thing is that we're doing. Um, so it works exactly the same as the um, mini e-collar. And um, the way it plugs in at night is there's a black um, you know, cord similar to this, which I think I might have, nope, here it is. Dropped it on the floor. But the cord comes with it. You could just put it into your regular charger, whatever charger you have, or into your computer or laptop at home. And it's a double charger right here for your, that you'll plug into it and charge it at night. So good, good. I hope this helps. And um, also I hope that the uh, fingernail polish I put on there to kind of guide you so when you're looking for the up or the down and the right button to use, um, you should do well. All right, we'll see you soon. Have a great night.